Introduction The silica gel indicator is a bead or granule of silica gel that has been soaked in concentrated cobalt chloride. When it is dry, the cobalt chloride is a deep blue color, turning to purple or pink as it absorbs moisture. Usually, the indicating silica gel is used for a moisture-sensitive product that is routinely inspected because it offers a simple visual indicator of how well it is doing. The silica gel indicator cannot be used in food products and medicines due to addition of cobalt chloride. The humidity trapped inside the enclosed storage area itself is responsible for most damage to stored valuables and supplies. Humidity trapped in confined space become almost imperceptible condensation, causing tremendous harm such as corrosion, fungi, mold, odor, spoilage, stains and food or medication degradation. Adsorption and absorption are two different things. While absorption means uniform distribution of the substance throughout the bulk, adsorption means distribution of the substance at the surface of the bulk. From figure 1, we can see the difference between absorption and adsorption. This is the formula used in this experiment. The objective of this experiment is to understand the concept of water adsorption by silica gel. Apart from that, this experiment helps in differentiating between absorption and adsorption processes. How the experiment is conducted Firstly, the weight of the petri dish was measured by using digital analytical balance. Next, the distilled water was poured into the petri dish and the weight was measured again by using the digital analytical balance. After that, the silica gel was poured into a petri dish and the weight of the silica gel was recorded. The petri dish filled with distilled water was placed beneath the silica gel for absorption process to occur. Lastly, the weight of the distilled water was recorded with 5 minutes interval for 45 minutes. These are the results that were obtained during the experiment consists of a table and a graph. From figure 2, we can see that there is an increased trend in the amount of water loss. This indicates that absorption process occurs throughout the experiment for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, it can be observed that the silica gel changed its color from deep blue to light pink. Question 1 requires us to estimate whether there is enough silica gel to absorb water from the petri dish completely. So from my experiment, there is not enough silica gel to absorb water from the petri dish because I only use 105.887 grams of silica gel. The amount of silica gel needed to absorb 84.079 grams of distilled water is 890.287 grams of silica gel. Question 2 asks for how long it would take to absorb the water from the petri dish completely if you have a substantial quantity of the silica gel. So from my experiment, for complete absorption of water with sufficient amount of silica gel would take up to 191.66 hours. For the last question, what is the theoretical value of time needed for the same amount of water loss you have encountered during the experiment? So for this question, the theoretical value of time needed for the same amount of water loss is 2.647 hours. How to regenerate back spent silica gel? Give any recommendations on how to accelerate the adsorption process. The silica gel can be regenerated after saturated with water by heating it for 1 to 2 hours to 120 degrees C. This regeneration process, however, is lengthy and may be fundamentally unprofitable. The microwave oven is the best way to regenerate the silica gel. Even so, when exposed to enough water, certain types of silica gel can burst. This is triggered when the water is contacted by the breakage of the silica spheres. By increase the temperature, the absorption process can be accelerated. This is because the rate of chemical reaction increases if the process is chemisorption. If the process is a physical absorption, then high temperature does not affect the absorption process. Secondly, the optimum absorbent dosage is a crucial parameter. It affects the amount of adsorb adsorbate. When the amount of adsorbent dosage increases, the process can be sped up until a certain amount and then the adsorption capacity will remain constant due to limited adsorbate. 
In conclusion, the objective of this experiment are achievable, although some errors may occur throughout the experiment due to several factors and disturbances such as the digital analytical balance needs to be serviced, improper filter container and also the silica gel was exposed to the moisture from the surroundings that lead to inaccurate results. However, the experiment went out quite smoothly. These are the references used in this experiment.